Hi, I'm Macy Ray. And I'm Victoria Zero. Hello, I'm Jason Lancaster from the Van Gogh Radio. Yeah. Radio. He's trying to do an English accent right now. I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job. I mean, my, my buddy Rob over there is sitting in the background. He's going, wow, I'm buying it, I'm buying it. I believe every single word he's saying. <laughs> See? Okay, so I just got these guys. This is what I got. So that is perfect. So being at Warp Tour, obviously we have this behind us, so y'all can see where we are. What is that like for you coming to Warp Tour? Um, you know, it's actually kind of a, I'm going back to a regular accent now because I felt, I felt kind of silly because that actual It's still kind of coming out though. <laughs> That's actually just coming out on top of Really? Yeah. Oh wow. But um, no, Warp Tour is a huge deal for us. It's a, it's a, it's kind of like a cornerstone in, in everybody's career. It's where you're just kind of sitting there and you're going, wow, you know, like, we got a record out. I want to be in a bigger band. What do you do? It's like, you do work for it. That's what you do. And you come out and you earn your stripes and, you know, hopefully everybody loves you at the end of the summer. I'm sure they will. I hope so. I have a question for you. Now, you sing and you play guitar. What talents do you have that are not so something you'd like to show people? Like something really weird and... I'm really good at video games. That, now see, that, I, I consider that a legit talent. That's good like, it is. Like, I can tie a knot in a cherry stem with my tongue. I, that's not really useful. But You'd be talent. surprised when that comes in handy. <laughs> see, she didn't want to go there, but I took it there. That's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> so just really good at video games? Um, I do a lot of things. Uh, I... Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> so are you guys going on tour anytime soon? Obviously after Warped Tour is done. Yeah, yeah, we uh, pretty much plan on touring the entire rest of the year. Oh, nice. Uh, can't really say what we're doing yet, but... Are you hitting up Winnipeg? Oh, uh, Winnipeg? I don't know. Actually, I think that's a, that's a possible thing. That would be cool. I, I, I think, uh, I think one, the second tour we have lined up comes to there, so I'm not positive, but don't quote me. Okay, sounds good. We're elbow fighting buddies, that's what we are. Now, who is your biggest like musical influence? Uh at the time probably Ben Folds. I'm a huge Ben Folds fan. That's horrible. No, it's not. It is. It is. I guarantee you if you're into Ben Folds five. Interview's over. Stop the income. <laughs> but uh, no, Ben, ben Folds is probably the, one of the best lyricists and pianists that I've ever heard in my entire life. He's just absolutely incredible. You have to check it out. I will. I definitely will. Okay, so fan experience. You obviously have tons of fans. My friend Aaron's actually one of your biggest fans. That's awesome. Pretty cool. I have a question from Aaron later, but I'm going to save that. Okay. But have you had any like, super weird fan experiences? I feel like... Uh, if I did say them on camera, it would be a bad thing. Well, you can like, I mean, like choose we, a different name for your We uh, well, this is kind of experience. It's very particular. If they heard it, they would know exactly, exactly who they were. But uh, now, for for the most part, fan experiences in general are always a good thing. You know, like any time that you that someone feels inspired enough by what we do to to even want to come out to a show, much less like make. You know, I've got tons of bracelets on that have been made, you know, like, things like that. It, it's always, it's always a really good thing. Well, that's good. Because obviously your fans keep you... Did, did, did you go with the yeah, yeah, exactly. And they keep us motivated to write. They keep us in a job, you know. It says somewhere that your sister sang with you in Forever My Father. Mm -hmm. Was that true? And this is from AJ. Yeah. From Winnipeg. Yeah, it, it absolutely is true. It's uh, me and my sister and my little brother. Oh, that's cool. So music <laughs> in your family. Yeah. yeah um, we all do my uh, my dad was a musician. Um, everybody's always she dancing. Okay? Yeah, yeah, she yes. dancing. I caught it out of my wrist. <laughs> my wrist. You know? But no, like yeah, music has always been a giant part of our family. So, so do you have music has an education background? No. No. Okay. No, I, I was never like trained in anything. I just kind of started doing it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> don't feel bad, just ask a good question. That way I can look over here too. Exactly. She's asking all the good questions. You're a terrible interviewer. You're just busy <laughs> <laughs> I'm not terrible. I just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm messing with you. It's okay. It's okay. We still love you. Um, everyone knows. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever you just did is the most awkward thing I've seen anybody do in a long time. I, I felt really like you might actually implode from the awkwardness. I'm really awkward. <laughs> <laughs> do you have any more questions? 
Um, what's your go-to dance move? Go to dance you see, you saw a couple of mine. Um, I actually do one. It's called the ping one. Okay. It goes like this. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> That's really nice. Yeah. I like that one. All right. So I guess we're gonna wrap this up because you. I do. I, it's you call me bad. No. Are you saying bad <laughs> musicians? No. He's no practice. He's amazing, and you guys know it. Too. So go see you on tour. Buy their merchandise. Check them out. Don't stop them. Well, stop if you want to. You know how you feel about that. I don't have a reason to stop. I like your stuff. Yeah, well, there you go. So we'll see you guys later.